everybody. I'm Sparkle, a health project coordinator from Promote Health Prevent Cancer and the Cancer Services Program. I'm here to talk to you today about being physically active in the great outdoors and how to stay safe doing so. So today we're going to talk about why being physically active is so important and what it means for your health. Being physically active is very important to maintaining a healthy body weight. And maintaining a healthy body weight helps lower your risk of chronic diseases. So with the weather warming up and just being able to get back outside and doing the things we love to do outside, let's talk about some physical activities you can do while in the great outdoors. For those of us that do like the great outdoors, hiking, biking, going on walks, um, um, kayaking, kayaking. Um, those are some really great activities to do around here. Um, there are a few uh, local parks where you can do those things uh, for little to no cost. So we want people to get outside. We want them to get back into that active state after such a long winter. It'll be great. I'm more of a gym person myself. However, my schedule does not always allow for me to go to the gym. So when I can't get to the gym, I really like to go on long walks with my dog. His name is Hulk. Um, I try and at least get in a 45 minute walk to maintain just a, a brisk pace, nothing too fancy, um, not a vigorous workout like riding a bike, but just enough to get my heart rate up and going. When I'm outside, I do my best to stay safe. Uh, part of that is pre-planning. So if I'm going out for a long walk with my dog, I try and check the weather. I try and make sure I have the right clothing and right equipment to be successful in my activity for that day. So for instance, if the sun is going to be out and it's going to be a very hot day, I try and make sure I have long sleeve shirts that are breathable material, that I have a hat. Um, sometimes I like to be fancy and wear shades. Um, but I try and make sure that I'm protecting my skin and not putting myself at risk for skin cancer. Um, something else I like to do is check the weather to see if it's going to rain. Um, if it's going to rain, I try and plan that walk for either before or after. Or if it just is going to rain all day, I make sure I have um, an umbrella, a nice sweatshirt, some nice, uh, some thick clothing where I'm not going to get uh, cold um, during that walk. I also make sure that if it's going to be a sunny day that I take sunscreen with me, especially if I'm going to be out for um, a very long time. Uh, most people don't realize that you need to reapply your sunscreen every two to three hours based on uh, the recommendation of the manufacturer. Uh, so I try and keep that handy. And also bug spray. As we're getting in the warmer weather, I, the mosquitoes will be back out. So, you know, just to avoid uh, mosquito bites if you can, using bug spray or the alternative methods that you may use. Um, also planning your activity can be something as simple as planning the route that you're going to walk or uh, run for those of us that like to run, um, just to make sure that you're going to have a smooth um, set of events. Uh, so for instance, I live in between three neighborhood schools. So if I'm going to go on a walk, I try to go on that walk uh, after the students arrive for um, school or um, after dismissal so I don't get caught up and a lot of people, um, things like that. And I try and walk um, a path that I'm familiar with, which I'm all about exploring, but I try and make sure that I'm in familiar territory um, so that I can be aware of my surroundings, which is another safety tip. Be aware of your surroundings. Um, for instance, many of us are music lovers or podcast lovers and there's an earbud in while we're walking or running or doing things outside, that's great. Um, whatever keeps you motivated, but also having it at a volume that is not detrimental to your eardrums, but also at a volume where you can hear what's going on around you. So if there's another person coming up to interact with you, um, you can hear them coming. If there are sirens or emergency services approaching, you can hear those. Um, so it's very important to try and be aware of your surroundings um, when it comes to your earbuds. Um, be aware of your surroundings uh, if you're running at certain times of day. Um, for those of us that tend to go out at later times, it's getting um, lighter now. Um, but during those times at like seven, eight, nine o'clock where it starts to get dark, if you're out then, you want to make sure that you're very visible to the people in the community. 
Um, if you're wearing dark clothing, then you're less likely to be seen by someone while you're walking, running, biking. So you want to make sure that you're wearing bright colors or reflective colors or even um, these really cool snap bracelets we got where they have lights on the bands so that people can see you. Um, a lot of bikes actually come with uh, the... Uh, it's a flashlight that when you pedal, um, it actually blinks with each pedal. So as you're pedaling, it draws attention to you. So those are um, some other ways to be safe. Um, letting people know, hey, I'm leaving the house for a walk. I'll be back in maybe 45 minutes, an hour, just so that people know to expect you. And if something is odd or out of place, hey, at that hour that they check in with you, also, most of us do carry our cell phones sometimes, um, but making sure you have access to emergency services should you need them. Um, most of the time, that's uh, not really necessary, but just making sure to be safe and have the things you need to be safe uh, while you're out and being active. And most importantly, especially during the summer months, hydrating, making sure you have enough water with you. Um, making sure, especially um, after a run, at the start of a run, that you are hydrated. Um, these are just a few tips to be safe out in the community. We want everyone to get out and explore the community, get active, stay healthy, and most importantly, just have fun.